Hey guys, Ken here. And I got Dolly. Daryl didn't come today, so Dolly got to go this morning. Don't have a real busy day. But, uh, just got a work day. The guys, I wanted to get on here and, and tell you about the video that you're going to see. Um, went hunting last night, which was 8 8, Monday 8 8 22. Went hunting with my old buddy Mike Humphrey from Way to Go Kennels. And I'm going to tell you what, that shouldn't be his name. I'll be Mike Humphrey. I'm a crazy ass boy, redneck boy. Way to, that's the way to go, Kennels. Because I've I known him for a long time, guys, and I know, I've always known he's crazy. And he just, he always shows it. We, we had a pretty good time and fun last night, so it's, it was, it was, it was a great time. And we took, I took uh, Blaze and my new pup, Missy, which I've got her from uh, Jason over at City Boy Kennels. Good guys, super nice guys. Y'all ain't watch his channels, go and watch them. Good coon hunter. I enjoy it. He's coming out here to hunt with us, hopefully, end of this month, first of next month. Um, and then uh, we took uh, Spook and, and Sin, too, also. We went to the first drop and let out in a conservation area. And, of course, Missy, she didn't do a lot. She ran a lot of ground, but, guys, it's only, she's 14 months old. And I've only had, first time I've had her out of the pen. Se second time I've had her out of the pen. At, first time at night. So, she's new to me. I've had her for about three weeks, just keeping her in the pen, petting her up, getting her used to me, and knowing my voice and everything. So... Like I said, we uh we let out Blaze, went on down. He went down the, the area and she went down. She stayed away. She didn't stay underneath her feet. I was pleased about that. And she stayed out there hunting. Looking, hunting, exercising, whatever. I was fine with it. Uh, finally Blaze come in and I, I mean he just struck and treat right right there. Like the man I would treat him on struck him on the first bark and treat him before he got done with the second bark and they were about 250 yards down there and we walked in and guys I, I got the video I didn't think about getting my phone out and getting the video when I got out of the place was sat down on his butt treeing I mean perfect but it was right on a little fence row and I thought thought to myself crap it ain't big enough to be a coon in that tree it's going to be a daggum possum. And I know that's what's going through Mike's head. Well, we get down there and look. He said, I'm going to go on the other side. So he walks up and crosses over and blazes there beside me. I tied him up. And we're looking. I said, hey, it's up there in the top tree because he squealed. I said, I think that's a coon. And he said, yep, I can see it now. It's a coon. It's a coon. So I'm petting Blaze up. Missy coming in there, and I'm petting her up, and, you know, and it's it's hunting season in Missouri, it's kill, so you can shoot coon now, I was going to shoot this coon out, and Mike said, I got him, I said, I know I seen him, he said, no, I got him, I said, what do you mean you got him, and I looked through this tree line, and that crazy fool's over, got that coon by the tail, hold on to it, I said, you crazy nut, what are you doing? He said, well, I want to lay him loose for them dogs. I said, well, bring him over. He said, no, send the dogs over. And I said, I don't know if they'll go through there. He said, well, what if I just throw the thing over? And I said, all right. I said, wait a minute. So I got Blaze loose and had him by the collar. And Missy was just pretty much right there. And he chucked that thing up over that fence row. I watched it go in. It went in here oh, and when it hit the ground right in front of Blaze. And it jumped up and went to take off and I let go of Blaze and... You'll see in the video, the, the fight was on. And Missy got in there, got a hold of the coon. We got Blaze off, he killed it. And 
she got it, packed it around. Boy, she's just proud as could be of it. And I was just proud. I let her have it for a while. And uh, I caught her. We went to the truck and went on to the next dump. Well, boys got a little hot. It was in the CRP. It wasn't much wind in there. So we took him back to Mike's house, set him out, put him in a uh, spook pen to have water and cool off. And went, went to another drop. Oh, we drop and I got spook come out of that dog house. Didn't go 25 yards. And hit a, hit a track and tree, pretty much. And sand opened up in there. Uh, I started the video sooner. Mike said, start your video. So I did and got it got it going. Hit the button. I'm not sure where I hit the button. I knew I shut it off. Had to restart it when we found the coon. So then we went to another drop, what we call a swamp. We was in there for two hours. And I didn't, I was so hot and tired, guys, I didn't take a video of that. I said, ain't going to happen. So, I just left it. And, but I think Mike got a video of that one. But then we had to find our way out because I said, I'm not walking back through that swamp. I already got my boots, water in my boots. My feet were wet, my pants were wet, and Mike was even wetter than I was. And if it wasn't wet for sweating, you would wet from the swamp water. So we got that done. And it took, and they were about 450 yards. It took us a good 45 minutes or more to get to get to them. And then it took us longer because we'd go a little bit, and check our GPS. And I said, "Dude, we're going the wrong way." No, we're not. And he said, "Well, that's what this says. I agree with you. I think we're going. It feels like we're going the right way, but..." That ain't what this says. So, all right, guys, I'm going to get off here and we'll get this video uploaded. Talk to you later. Get him, Missy. Hey, yeah. That makes you feel good. Yeah. See if you can catch plays. Get him, Missy. There you go, Jason. First dump of the night. First time I've had her out. Blaze through this coon. We just pushed it out. And you got to see what happened there, buddy. So. I said I've been just petting her up at home and working with her. Let her get used to me. So, there's a little video for you, buddy. All right, guys. Me and Mike out here, we just let loose with uh, Spook and Sin. It's 1019. And as you can hear, he's out in there. Got the track going. They're seeing guys. Well, not even a minute since I started it. So, Sin even opened up in there. I've got her in there and whole spook. And there's Sin. We're going to walk in here and find this coon, guys.
We're gonna have to walk, oh my God, a long way. About 50 yards. There's, there's a tree right there. On that tree right there. I shut the video off for a minute. Huh? Hold on, man. I'll come over. Okay. Where'd you ask, Boop? Alright, uh, right, guys. I'm back. I hit the button on here. See him up there? Yep. Hold on. He's right up in there, guys. We, right up in there, my laser. We seen him. See right there, that limb shaking? Yeah. Is that his head? Yeah, right there, right. Right there is his head, right there. Yeah. All right. All right, guys. There he is, right there. You can see his eyes with my red light. Right there, we're gonna get off here and get this taken care of.